Hello folks, so now we are going to understand the concept of variables in Scratch. So this is Shardul Gavande from Ace Knowledge and let's start with our project by giving it a name as variables. So what are these variables? A variable is used to store information in your computer's memory location and this information would be further used to perform any computation operations. So in this video, we are going to calculate area of rectangle using some variables. So let us design our stage. So we do not require this sprite. So let's delete this. Let's click on the backdrop and design a rectangle by switching on this backdrop tab. Select this rectangle and draw it over here. Okay. So we have our rectangle on stage. You can see it has been reflected on this stage. Fine. Now let us take a sprite. This time we'll take mouse. So this sprite has appeared over here and you can see image 1 and image 2. So let us resize this sprite. Okay. Again control all resize and we'll place at the center. If you can see the circle over here. Let's place it over the center. Your blue plus mark should be inside this circle. Okay. And now let us move it to the start position. The same thing we'll do it with the second image. Control all. Resize and place it to the center. So these two images, mouse one and mouse two are been successfully placed at the center. I think this is a slightly bigger let let us resize it and i hope it is in the center okay so i think now the size issue has been fixed so let us move to the code section so the very first thing what we want to do is we need to make this mouse movable to the left right top and bottom side so let us do that first first of all let us set our flag when flag is clicked or oh, we need to pass a condition over here that if I press or if the user presses the right arrow key, it should move to the right side. If he presses the left arrow key from the keyboard, it, the mouse should move to the left side and same for the top arrow key and the bottom arrow key. So there is a condition that if and from the sensing block will take the input from the user that if key press. So here we need to mention the which key is to be pressed. If right arrow is pressed, then under the look section switch the mouse costume to the second one and then we'll control it by passing a weight of 0.01 seconds then under the motion we need to move it so first of all point the direction of that mouse so it should move to the right side so 90 degree okay point in direction is 90 degree fine and move some steps so move 10 steps and again in the look section switch back to the original costume which is mouse 1 a okay so let us select this okay we need to pass the forever loop also in order to make it work continuously so inside forever loop we'll have this if condition select and just check whether the mouse is moving into the right right direction on click of right arrow key from keyboard so yes it is moving now same will go for left top and bottom just the direction will change so we won't type we won't uh, drag and drop the code again right click over here the con on the if condition and simply duplicate it put it over here change the key arrow to left and point of direction would be minus 90 degree and let us check now so yes it is moving to the left as well as to the right now for the top and bottom key arrow would be to the up arrow and direction would be zero degree let us check always remember whenever you make any changes in the code at the same time run and check it okay don't wait for the entire code to be written and then run it so immediately you make any kind of changes make sure that you check it by running the code so yes it is moving to the top left now the last part which is to the down arrow key again duplicate put it over here select down arrow and point in the direction of 180 degree and we'll run it again 
so yes it's working right so the next step is to create variables and what we are going to store in this variables so we are going to store the number of steps the mouse moves through the length of this rectangle and to the width of this rectangle okay so let us create the variables let us bring our mouse to the back to the start position and we'll go into the variable section here you have an option of make a variable so click on this make a variable first variable would be our length select for this sprite only which means it would be just for this mouse object only click on ok again make another variable give it the name as height for this sprite ok and when i calculate the area that is let us delete this and make another variable i'll give the name as width okay so the area of rectangle is length into breadth or length into your width okay so we have over here now length and width variables which are created fine so we need one more variable in which the answer of this multiplication part of your length and width would be stored so we need one more variable called as area in which we will store our answer okay so variables have been created you can see it over here on the stage length width and area you can arrange them accordingly as per your need on the stage on any position now whenever you want to use variables firstly initialize them to zero so let's set each and every variable when the flag is been clicked to zero so set area is done then set our length and set our width okay so in the length what i want to store is the number of steps the mouse moves in this side okay in the horizontal part so simply we should go into the right arrow code part and over here we'll say change our variable length variable by one so if you observe now if i click on the right arrow the value in the length variable will go on incrementing by one say one two three four in this way it will go on incrementing again i keep it over here to the same position the same it should go for the width section of a rectangle so width section is the up arrow part so if condition in this part set or we'll change the variable width select variable as width by one so now if i move from here length is changing and if i go upwards my width will change okay for the left and bottom i am not assigning any variable because our job is only with the length and width once we get the length and width we'll do the multiplication part and store the answer in variable area so we need to put a condition over here now area we will be calculated when the user will press spacebar button from the keyboard so come over here first put a condition as if then in the forever loop sense it that if the user presses spacebar then you you need to calculate the area and give him give it to him so under variables come over here click on set area okay so now we are dealing with the variable area and this would won't be zero over here we would perform the multiplication of length and width so go to the operators we have plus minus multiplication division greater than less than and so on we are dealing with multiplication okay so in this two blank boxes will pass our variable length and the next is width and simply drag and drop them over here okay so our variable is set area to length into width fine and now if we will run just stop the code and run it again make sure that all the values are initialized to zero and now i'm moving my mouse the length is changing okay and now the height or the width is changed okay and once i press the space bar i'll get the area see i got the area as 380 which is nothing but length into width right so 
this is how variables are used in order to store the information and we can perform operations and store the result back into variables so that's it from this video if you have understood the concept of variables do like the video share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much